Hello, yes, it's me, Holly Agambar, back with an instant match reaction because Tottenham have just lost away to Villa 2-1. I kind of thought the manager of the month curse might bow its head, but I was so wrong. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like, share, comment and subscribe so you never miss a video. Yes, ladies and gents, Spurs have dropped three points uh, against Villa and they now sit level with us on points, but we are only just above them because of goal difference. Um, it's not great out here. Uh, the game side, there was no dire whatsoever in the team sheet, so that kind of had me a bit optimistic um but I was so wrong there was so many gaps across the field we looked so lackluster from start to finish I think we only started to believe in ourselves that we could go on and do something in about the 90th minute so that just kind of emulates how the whole game kind of went from start to finish um Villa had a cracking goal in the first 10 minutes. I mean, we lost, no, in the first seven minutes even. We lasted longer than three, which was an achievement in itself. The ball comes across. Um, Pedro Porro is behind the man. Unfortunately, can't get enough on it and it goes into the bottom corner. Uh, we then obviously concede from a free kick as well. I don't know whether Fraser Forster could have had his positioning a little bit better, but to be honest with you, the way the ball dipped, um, I don't think there was really any way you could have saved that free kick. Um, you would have thought that would have given us a kick up the butt. It didn't really. Uh, it took a while for us to kind of find any sort of rhythm. The amount of times that we passed the ball backwards and the amount of times I've seen an offside flag today, I actually want my brains to explode. It was actually ridiculous. I don't know how professional footballs can't just look along the line. Yes, OK, you could give it to Villa that they played the offside trap really well, uh, but there's no way we should have been caught offside that many times. Um, Harry Kane obviously also got awarded a penalty after Marcus came cat and into him. When I was watching it on the live stream, it was a bit like, mm, I don't know if that's a penalty, but I'm not going to complain about it. Um, obviously, we score that. Harry Kane, true fashion, in the bottom corner. And then I think we've gone on to get the equaliser. Uh, but Sonny, once again, the offside flag is raised and he was offside. I mean, you could argue some of them were quite close, but most of them, you could tell by the naked off eye, they were well off. Um, so yes, it was a very disappointing day in the office once again. Uh, don't worry though, because on Honey Socks First Live, I'll be back hosting the show after being back off holiday. Uh, I'll be joined by Chris Cowlin, George Killier and Emma Duvet to dissect everything that went on today, especially all those offsides. So until next time, come on you Spurs. Don't forget to subscribe.